Hello lovers, Bill Weir, ABC News Nightline, and this could be big, an exciting new way to remove and replace some of man's most destructive inventions. Now you remember the graduate, you remember that classic scene where Mr. McGuire pulls Ben aside at his graduation party and gives the young man some heady career Just advice? One word. Yes, sir. I'm listening. Yes, sir. Plastics. Well, if the great Mike Nichols were to reshoot that scene in 2012, that one word might just be mushrooms. Let me explain. You see, back in 1967, Mr. McGuire was right. There was a huge future in plastics, and now a generation later, the planet is buried in the stuff. Some of it can be recycled, but a lot of it can never be destroyed. Polyurethane, for example, doesn't break down, which means every ton we produce to make cute toys or furniture or packing materials is destined to sit in landfills or float around in our oceans for hundreds of years. Or so we thought, until a Yale professor by the name of Scott Strobel and his merry band of researchers stumbled across a very special kind of mushroom deep in the Ecuadorian Amazon. It is called Pesta Lariopsis Microspora. And get this, it eats polyurethane like we eat pot. It's the first fungus ever discovered that can survive solely on plastic. And even better, it can do it without air or light, like in the bottom of a landfill. Now, that alone is cool enough to merit its own, this could be big. But wait, we have a bonus fungus for you this week. Something that can actually help replace that fluffy spawn of Satan that is the styrofoam peanut. I defy you to name a more annoying invention. Nothing kills the buzz of getting a, a new package than opening it up and realizing that soon your pants legs will be covered with this thanks to static electricity. They'll be blowing around the yard for eternity. And it took an incredible amount of petroleum, oil, to make this crap. If only we had a, a material that was natural, something made from, oh, I don't know, mushrooms. Well, now we have it. Thanks to a couple young guys named Evan Bayer and Gavin McIntyre. They were in college a couple years ago at an invention class when they realized that the root system of a mushroom called the mycelium can actually be turned into an eco-friendly glue. And when it's mixed with agricultural waste like rice or corn husks, uh, stalks from plants, stuff that the farmer throws away, well, they can actually grow a material that's exactly like styrofoam. Eben from Eco Baden, this company now has a fantastic uh, TED talk.